Hello everybody and welcome back to um, <clears throat> today's showcase. So yeah, today I've got a, uh, another hipster door. But this one is torchless and is only seven wide. If you haven't seen Bloodstained Cards' um, hipster door prototype, it uses the same <clears throat> layout. And I just made it torchless, which took a while. So yeah, the dimensions uh, of the actual redstone is ten long, uh, five high when you include the uh, floor above, and uh, seven wide for a total of 120 blocks, which is pretty small. Uh, it is a bit slow, just the way I connected all the redstone, but it does work. So let's take a look. It closes very quickly. Like that. So if you notice, when I'm powering the piston up here, I extend this piston to push the block here and pulse this wire, which will power the pist the block and then the piston above it. So that's how I did that. Um, so yeah, one more look. And uh, this is my falling edge mono stable right here. So when the piston extends, um, I have two repeaters on one tick down here for a total of two ticks. So by the time it's actually powering this redstone here, this piston will already have blocked it off. So you have a block above here. But there will still be power when this piston retracts, which will emit a short pulse, which will go through the circuit. Um, from this mono stable to the right is the entire triple extender. Um, it, it, it's pretty complicated, and I sort of got lucky in some parts. Uh, it also took a lot of trial and error to get this to work. And I probably won't do a tutorial on this one. Well, I may in the future, but I uh, may be able to uh, reduce the amount of wiring because it's just sort of a first stab at it. I mean, it's not horrible, but it kind of is horrible. So if you like this, uh, please leave a like. And... Um, Subscribe if you haven't. So I'll see you all later.